how does gardenium differ from stainless steel in that way? Gardenium has two very dramatically positive properties. One, that it's a little bit different than stainless steel. In fact, that it is actually stronger. It takes a certain amount of force to bend a stainless steel rod. It takes more force to bend a gardenium rod. So that has the potential for maintaining corrections and not breaking as much as a stainless steel. The second component of it is that the gardenium is made similar to stainless steel, but it has an element of a special copper alloy in it. And the way this will work for us is that if a bacterium happens to land on that gardenium, there's a, what we call an ion to ion, ion transfer between the copper that's in the metal and the cell membrane of that bacterium. So when the cell membrane lands on the copper, there's an ion to ion transfer between the copper and the electrons of that cell membrane. It's now depolarized, holes break into the cell membrane, and that thus, without the protective barrier around it, that bacterium died. Okay, I told you he was smart. I think what you're saying is that gardenium has like a copper ion, like a charged molecule. It interacts with the cell wall of the bacterial membrane, and that electrical interaction basically like disintegrates the membrane yeah. and kills the cell by rupturing the membrane. Correct. 